Here you're going to see the delivery and setup of the Sullivan Sport Go Easy trailer that I bought about two years ago. I decided to buy this specific trailer because I needed something that would carry all of my camping and climbing gear, but wouldn't take up a lot of room when I wasn't using it. Now, I tent camp, but I still like some luxuries, so I ended up building out a platform inside of my car. In my car, I have a refrigerator along with a few drawers that make storage really easy. But there are still some big things that don't necessarily fit in my car when we're going cross country for a multi-week or possibly multi-month trip. I do have a lot of hobbies, many of which require lots of hauling capacity, and this Sylvan Sport trailer allows me to haul a lot of items both on its roof rack but also in its trailer bed. I am able to put items in the trailer bed inside of a truck bed bag, which allows me to keep everything in there dry. I will link that down in the description because it's been really helpful and really makes this a awesome and versatile trailer. Delivery was super easy. It took three weeks total from when I first put my order in to when I got the trailer. The setup for the trailer is easy. I just needed a trailer hitch with a two inch ball. And obviously you just need to make sure that the height of the coupler allows for the trailer to remain parallel. One of the cool things about this specific trailer is you can take the tongue off when you're not using it. So sometimes we would be at a campsite and we would end up be backpacking for a day or two and we had to put the trailer somewhere. Obviously I would put a tire lock on it and I do have a tile that tracks the actual trailer in case somebody were to somehow get it. But when you take the tongue off, there's nothing for somebody to attach it to their car with. The flexibility of the roof rack is really one of the superpowers of this trailer. At any point in time, we will have a few things on top, like two bike racks, and then either a rooftop box if we need extra storage, or if we're going kayaking, we'll put two kayaks on top. The trailer is so light that you honestly don't even really realize that you're towing it. And I was able to get really good gas mileage with it. I only get about five to eight miles per gallon less than normal, which is about as much as I get when I have a rooftop box on my car. But granted, with the trailer, you know, you're generally going about the speed limit. So the the speeds are going to be slightly slower. I would recommend this trailer to anybody who likes to tent camp but still wants to bring extra things and have a lot of flexibility.